Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks with the Danish Pick. Uh, now the contest is finally over and we're back to the subscriber replays. Um, I just had to take a break after that of all those replays that I had to see. And actually get some games in myself. Uh, first things first, some people have asked me what my graphics settings are set up like. Um, I'm running at full HD resolution and with pretty much everything on yeah high except the uh, the motion blur effect uh, it's a cool effect but I feel like it's it's distracting you from the battle and oh by the way that one so we're here on mountain pass with TV creeper yeah you might know him uh, he was actually the guy that won the contest. Uh, he got a free premium tank of his own choice, and he chose the AMX CDC. Now I don't have this tank myself, but what I hear is that it should be pretty good. That's all I know. Um, but anyway, back back to the replay. So we're here on Mountain Pass, and he's actually going down the ice road. Now the big question is, is he going to sit here on the corner and get... No, apparently it doesn't look like it. He's actually pushing very... Alright. Yeah, the i7 is not famous for being accurate. Especially not shooting on the move, but hitting an AMX 50B that's only showing his turret, shh, why not? Because RNG loves to fuck you over, and, well, RNG gives and RNG takes. Now, TV Creeper is actually doing the smart thing here, he's being aggressive. I'm just gonna, just gonna pause it here for just a second. Because um, if you're pushing Ice Road, and you stand still on this corner, if Artie is located at C1, even C1, down in this little area in here, right there, they will have shots on you all day while you'll sit on that corner. And looking at the enemy team, they actually have three artilleries, with, where one of them is the GC. So, that's definitely not a place you want to sit. That was a good roll. 545, 46. Now he's actually focusing out the 50B, but the 50B is banging off, it looks like. Ah, 520, 5, 502, nice. Yeah, good luck painting the IS7's turret, because that's basically the only thing you can shoot at. Me to roll into the third end on 409. T28 prototype. <laughs> He's firing HE against the IS 7's turret. Yes, yeah, sorry, but your caliber is not high enough to actually do any damage against the IS 7's turret. That's 250 frontal armor and sloped. Sorry about that, just got a text on my phone. In the meantime, TV Creeper takes out the 30. Adi helps him out with the T28 prototype. That sounded like an ammo rack. On the ice 3 behind him. Yeah, commander sets up the lever. Nice. So there's only the 50B left. The 50B is loaded. He has 4 shots. And he's a two shot. Uh, yeah, well, now he's definitely a two shot, considering that his platoon mate just ran right in front of him. As the TV creeper goes in and covers him and takes out the 50B. Now, I would say that was the I 7 I 4's fault. Tunnel vision. Too much. I don't know if TV creeper and his platoon mate is using voice comms but he should have warned him that he shouldn't pull right in front of his gun 
but looking at that ID tracer, ID should be in that corner. Yep, there he is. Oh shit, that's two. Alright. That's one of them down. The GC. Yeah. Almost took a thousand hit points off him. The GC is reloading. Oh, that's Adi behind you. Adi's behind you. Oh. Yeah, for, for 23, this gun has his mind as his own. Sometimes it rolls high and you can just one shot everything. And other times it's. No. Why the Ice 4 is not killing this GC, I have no idea, but. TV Creeper takes him out. So that's five kills already. Now the FE, uh, he's running. The Ice 4 is coming around. There should be a Foch. Yep, there he is. Oh, he missed. The Ice 4 missed. Ah, he splashed him. The Ice 4 is dead. Yeah. The Foch is reloading, but. Yeah, TV Creeper takes him out. Take your time. He's reloading. There we go. One shot, 450 damage. That was a nice roll. And now they're being capped. And by the looks of it, it's only one guy on cap. One point per second. And that's a 268. Takes out the GWE 100. His GWE Tiger P just decided to drown himself. He just gave up. Because that's what scumbags do. Because it's. Apparently, that's the easy way. No, no, mind. That's 8 kills. Alright, the Walters. Now, the T34 were over there. And the Tiger 2 is there as well. Alright, you got spotted. Uh, the question is, what's on the cap? IS-7 or the IS-8? He's reloading to APCR because he wants to make this, make sure the shots count. But you can't blame him. That's the IS-7. Takes out his Ardy. Alright, that's the IS-8. No need to haul ass. That's the Tiger 2 behind him. Yeah, ignore him, he doesn't have a shot on you. Go for the IS-8. It's 90. 91. There he is! Nice! Alright, caps. Secure. So you're going for the Tiger 2 or the IS-7? Tiger 2 is coming up behind you. He got the T-34 with him. And the IS-7 is alone and in front of him. So, yeah. He's doing the smart thing here, he's going for the IS-7. And as the ID just told, the IS-7 is in on low hit points. So where is he? There he is. Ah, uh, wait. Now! That's a low plate. That's... That was the lower plate, but apparently Wargaming decided... Nope! Or RNG decided to... Here! What? the... Wouldn't you like having having a ghost shell going right through the fucking IS-7 without doing any damage? Well, that's just f fantastic. So he's trying to make this I-7 to dunk his shot against his turret. That's not gonna work. Yeah, there's the Tiger 2. No, 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 don't show your sight. Reverse sight scraping. Ah, Tiger 2 pent. So did TV Creep, but the Tiger 2 is a one shot. Oh, that's a T34. Nice! 449, that was a good roll. And that's a Tiger 2 on 400 hit points. He's a one shot as well. Yeah, he bounced. 400 hit points? No! You're gonna roll for 368. And here comes the IS 7. Tiger 2. Tiger 2 blows his tracks off. The I7 
bounced. The Tiger 2 has a faster reload, but a uh, lower pen gun, so mm, uh, take the... Yeah, there we go. Tiger 2 bounced again. TV Creeper takes out the I-7. Facehawk, that's Tiger 2. F there we go. Tiger 2 can't pen him. And, yeah. Right through the turret. Holy shit. 12 kills. He just earned his platoon a crucial contribution by himself. Fantastic good replay. Amazing play and a bit of luck, I would say, at the end. But anyway, a win is a win. And, well, this definitely showed the strengths of the i7. Uh, <laughs> wow. GG, man. GG. <laughs> Uh, let's take a close look at the post-game stats. So... <sighs> that was his ace tanker badge. <laughs> yep, yeah, wow. No shit, no kidding. Uh, the spotter, yeah. Fire effects, shell proof, duelist, hand of guard, and bruiser. He walked away with 115,000 credits and a 2,443 experience. That's undoubled. Undouble, that would have been 4,000, almost 5,000 experience. Wow. Uh, pools medal, yeah. For destroying 10 or more enemy tanks. That's uh, it's always satisfying getting one of, one of these medals. Uh, I got three of them on myself. The, these, these, oh, yeah. It's just a lovely medal to get. The Pescucci's medal, or I like to call it the scumbag medal, the cheap scumbag medal by killing three SPGs. Crucial contribution, destroying 12 enemy vehicles, yeah, you did that by yourself. The steel wall, the defender, and a top gun. He did almost 8,000 damage. And got 1,629 base experience. He got more experience than... Well, the three top tanks on the enemy team, combine that and he still got more experience. The closest one to him was the Jack Panzer, did almost 3,000 damage, he only got 592 base experience. It's what a hard ass carry! So, he, what, he took 24 shots, 23 of them hit, 23 of them penetrated. He actually made sure that every round count. Yeah, and almost 8,000 damage. Uh, he took 19 hits, 4 of them pinned, 15 of them bounced off. That was probably the most of them came from on the ice road when he was only showing his turrets. Damage blocked by armor, yeah, almost 4,400. Who cares? That one, I would say that was the ice force fault when he put that shot into the back of the Ice Force turret. He spotted five vehicles. Because, why not? Damaged 12 tanks, destroyed 12 tanks. There was only three tanks on the enemy team that he didn't put a shot into. Oh yeah, and 1,231 spotting damage. Yeah, why not? I-7, best scout. Even though that he walked, even though he, that he got that high amount of credits, uh, due to the fact that he fired gold ammo in the end, he walked away with a 26,000 profit. It's still a profit though, it's still a profit. <coughs> Can't argue about that. <coughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, shooting gold ammunition in uh, tier 10 tanks, it's expensive. To say it uh, in a kind way. <laughs> um, but anyway, th th thank you so much for this replay. This was just an amazing, uh, amazing thing to watch. Um, but what you guys think, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And other than that, I would say happy haunting to you all, and I'll see you around.